Carly and in this video I'm going to be doing a spoiler free book review of Verdi by Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover is hands down one of my favorite authors. I love all of her work and it is all so very different so I thought I would review this book. I cannot stop re recommending this book to people. That is how obsessed I am with this book. So keep on watching to get my full review. So first thing I want to say y'all is I haven't posted a book review on my channel in I want to say two months and that's simply because being in college it's hard to read for free time. I feel like I read so much for you know my classes and all the work that I have to do that I'm kind of like tired of reading at the end of the day and I can't focus anymore on reading and studying so I just have to like watch a show or like go to sleep and something like that but over winter break I've been reading books non-stop and I'm so excited that I have been able to catch up on all of my reading and all of the new books that are out there so I will definitely have more book reviews coming out soon just because of all of the reading that I have been doing over winter break but anyway let's keep going with this book review so I do want to say that I finished this book in two days and it would have been one day if I wasn't on a plane so I started this book while I was coming back from Aspen Colorado and I started reading it on the plane and I literally could not put it down my plan was to you know read a little bit on the plane and then take a nap no I read the entire flight and that flight was not a short flight and I you know really wanted to finish it but then I got home I was too tired I went to sleep and I woke up the next day and finished it right off so that's just tell you a little bit of something like I could not put it down now let's get into a quick synopsis of the book spoiler free of course so in that Verity a author named Lowen is offered a really unique opportunity to finish writing the last three novels in a book series by someone named Verity and these are a really high selling book series like their top charts and Verity cannot finish writing these last three books of the series because she has been in a medical induced like coma of some sort and like she's like medically unable to do it and so she wanted someone very professional like Lowen to write these books for her. So Lowen moves into Verity's house, also known as the Crawford's house. And she sees that Verity has been left really unresponsive due to this car accident that she has been in. She also has learned that Verity had two daughters that passed away in the months preceding Verity's accident. What, do you find that suspicious? I'll let you read and find out. And then, you know, because Colleen Hoover is such a romantic, she had to throw some romance in there, but Lowen starts falling for Jeremy Crawford, which is Verity's husband. And she also discovers a autobiography manuscript that is that belongs to Verity, which contains the deepest, darkest secrets of Verity. So that is pretty much the synopsis of this book. I feel like I gave you guys a lot of juicy details just in the synopsis, but may I say there was no spoilers right there because there is so much that happens in this book. Like there's no way I could spoil it. It's just like there's so much that happens. The little things that I told you weren't spoilers for the book. It just gets you on edge just a little bit to see what's in the book. Now. Let's talk about Colleen's writing for a little bit. Um, I love this book. I really do. And most of the time when I'm finished reading her books, I'm left feeling sensual to say. Like, I don't know. Like, her books are always, like, super romantic. And yeah, some of her books do have a dark side. And that's why I do like them because she doesn't bite her tongue. Like, she just, like, writes horrific things. And I love that. But... They never leave me like scared or anything like that. Like they always have like a decent ending. But may I say like with this book, I don't know how something could be so romantic but also like super scary at the same time. So like when I was done reading this book, I was just like, I'm scared to get out of my bed and go to the bathroom. But I'm also like 
loving it. I want more of it. So that's telling you like a little bit about how I felt reading it. So if you're not into scary things, I wouldn't necessarily go for this book, even though it's marketed as a romance book, which there is romance in it. There is. But compared to her other books, I feel like it's not that first person um, romance that she usually writes. It's more of like, you know, hearing romance through other people type of thing. But overall, I give this book a five sparkles out of five sparkles. I would highly highly recommend it and I would read this book because it is so different compared to her other writings I feel like so definitely check it out and I hope you guys totally enjoyed this spoiler free book review but I'll see y'all in the next video all of my social medias are linked in the description below so check those out and I'll see y'all in my next video I love y'all